Rothschild jewels. The Roseberry Tiara is one of the most famous and historically significant precious headdresses. Its creation by a French jeweler in 1878 for the wedding of Anne de Rothschild with the Earl of Rosebery became a symbol of the social and artistic changes of that time. This impressive accessory is made of gold and silver and decorated with two magnificent diamonds in the centre, which makes it not only beautiful but also a valuable piece of jewellery. The Roseberry Tiara reflects the luxury and sophistication of the era, as well as the skill of the jeweller who was able to create such a product. The tiara was put up for auction at Sotheby's, which indicates its importance and value. Such items often become the central lots at auctions, attracting collectors and lovers of the history of jewellery art from all over the world. Precious banknotes, the Württemberg Parura, Württemberg Pink Topaz and Diamond Parure, around 1810-1830. A truly masterpiece is the Württemberg Parure with beautiful natural pink topaz consisting of several pieces of jewellery including a transformer tiara, necklace, bracelets, earrings and a brooch. The Württemberg Parure belonged to Marie Georgina Henrietta born Princess Waldeck of Piermont, wife of William II of Württemberg, Germany. These bright deep pink topazes are considered to be of Russian origin. Perhaps part of the set came to his German family of the same name through Grand Duchess Olga Nikolaevna, 1822-1892, daughter of Tsar Nicholas I. Olga married the future King Charles I of Württemberg in 1846. Now the property of the Albion Art Institute in Japan, Albion Art Jewellery Institute. The parure was rented for a performance by the singer, the famous soprano Charlotte de Rothschild, a member of the British Rothschild family. The Rosebery Pearl and Diamond Tiara from the Garrard Jewellery House is one of the most exquisite and historically significant jewellery that belonged to Hannah Rothschild, Countess of Rosebery. This piece of jewellery was created in the Victorian era and reflects the luxury and wealth of that time. The tiara is decorated with 13 sea pearls, six button pearls with diamonds and seven pear-shaped pearls, also framed with diamonds. The base of the tiara consists of buttons, large natural pearls surrounded by old cut diamonds. The upper part includes seven natural pearls and diamond drops, all made in silver and gold. An interesting feature is that the seven teardrop-shaped pearls and round tiara fragments are removable and can be used as brooches or bodice decorations. The tiara can also be worn as a necklace, which makes it a versatile and practical accessory. Hannah Rothschild's wedding set, including a tiara, brooch and bracelet, was sold at Christie's auction in 2011 for £1,061,250. This set is considered one of the best examples of Victorian jewellery and is the epitome of history, luxury and craftsmanship. The Indian-style Cartier necklace, which belonged to the Rothschild family, is a great example of jewellery art of the early 20th century. Created in 1924 by Charles Jacquet, art director of the Cartier Jewellery House, this piece reflects the influence of oriental motifs on the western jewellery fashion of that time. The necklace consists of various sapphires and emeralds surrounded by lapis lazuli details and decorated in a platinum frame encrusted with diamonds. This combination of precious stones and metals creates a unique and memorable image, which was popular in jewellery of that time. Baroness Rothschild, known for her exquisite taste and love of jewellery, often wore this necklace, which further emphasised its beauty and elegance. 
the decoration not only demonstrates luxury, but is also a testament to history and culture. Wenzel Jamnitzer is a German jeweler. He was originally from Vienna. The most remarkable of the things he executed are a silver plateau for the dining table in the form of rocks, with numerous animals scattered on them, and with a woman holding a vase of flowers, which was long in the German museum in Nuremberg, then bought by Baron Rothschild in Frankfurt and Maine. A casket decorated also with figures of animals and people in the museum, the Green Vaults in Dresden, and another casket of a similar kind in the Berlin Industrial Museum. Jamnitzer, who is often called the German Cellini, was not only a skilled jeweler, but also a scientist who studied the history of antiquity and studied the development of European art. He wrote textbooks, created measuring instruments, and developed new technologies for his production. The history of Fabergé Easter eggs is really amazing. And the Rothschild egg is one of the most famous and valuable specimens. Created at the beginning of the 20th century, this work of art reflects the craftsmanship and innovative approach of Carl Fabergé to jewellery. The Rothschild egg watch is not just a piece of jewellery, but also a complex mechanism that demonstrates a high level of craftsmanship and attention to detail. It is decorated with diamonds, covered with pale pink and snow white enamel, and its frieze is lined with pearls. The road watch, mounted in an egg, has a dial decorated with pearls and garlands. Every hour when the lid is opened, a golden cockerel, enamelled and decorated with diamonds, begins its performance, flaps its wings and sings, after which a bell sounds. This is a truly magnificent creation, which is not only part of the jewellery art, but also reflects the history and culture of that time. The return of the Rothschild egg to Russia and its transfer to the collection of the State Hermitage Museum is a significant event for the cultural heritage of the country. This egg is not only a jewel, but also a symbol of history, which will now be available for viewing to the general public. The Golden Pagoda Watch is a truly unique work of art, reflecting the splendor and craftsmanship of jewelry of the Usutinth century. Probably created for export to the Chinese market, this watch could have been a magnificent gift to the Chinese emperor from high-ranking officials. Later, they became part of the Alfred Rothschild collection, which adds to their historical value. A dressing case with a musical mechanism, Golden Pagoda, height 210 mm materials, gold, enamel, agate, Diamonds, 374 stones, about 31 carats. Rubies, 109 stones, about 14 carats. Emeralds, 125 stones, about 9 carats. Date of creation, London, circa 1760. This precious pagoda contained many tiny gold toilet articles, making it not only a piece of jewellery, but also a functional luxury item. The sale at Christie's auction highlights its importance as an antique item that attracts collectors and art connoisseurs from all over the world. If you have any additional questions or would like to learn more about other works of art, do not hesitate to contact me. The St. Thorne's Reliquary is one of the most famous and significant works of medieval religious art. Created in Paris around 1400, it was intended to store one of the thorns of the crown of thorns of Jesus Christ. This reliquary is an outstanding example of the craftsmanship of jewelers and enamelers of that time. The main characteristics of the St. Thorns reliquary Date of creation Around 1400 materials Gold, enamel, sapphires, rubies, pearls History Originally made for Duke Jean de Berry 
In 1544, it became part of the treasury of the Holy Roman Emperor, and after 1860, it was acquired by Baron Ferdinand Rothschild. Current location, the British Museum, from the collection of Baron Ferdinand Rothschild. The Latin inscription on the reliquary, which translates as, this is the thorn from the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ, emphasizes its religious and historical significance. The coat of arms enameled plaques attest to its belonging to the Duke Jean de Berry, which adds to its historical value. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.